turning up at this beautiful resort last night. Francis was the only one that was ill. But waking up this morning, things are a little bit different. Let's get into it. My name's Ben Chapman, and I've rode bikes for as long as I can remember. I love nothing more than jumping on a train and going to explore. I just love the freedom of having a bike. So good morning and welcome back. Last night when we arrived, we ordered some food and Francis ordered some antibiotics for whatever was going on inside his stomach. He's woke up this morning feeling a little bit better, but unfortunately myself and Lawrence have also got ill. Just to recap, we've got 80k on the cards today and three wounded soldiers. Lawrence isn't his best at all. Yesterday he spent a good hour pushing Francis and giving him a hand along with us. And today he's the one that's sick. We believe that part of today's ride is unrideable and we might need a Jeep. So we've also got to organise that. Today is going to be testing, but we've all rode together for a very long time now and we know how to help each other out. Pace is lovely though. How's your belly? Every so often I just get a bit of a mm. <laughs> yeah, Scooby Doo. Dog, dog noise, yeah. <laughs> Lawrence is just off screen here. <laughs> he is, yeah. He's not very well. What's the crack? What are we doing? Um so we're gonna get a taxi for Lawrence and his equipment in the taxi. So mind. taxi for Lawrence. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna carry on. We're gonna carry on, maybe we'll have to jeep it. So that's Lawrence off safely to the Airbnb that we booked for tonight and we've probably got around about another 60k ahead of us. We're going to take it really really easy, conserve our energy because eventually this trip will take us over 1,400 kilometers across India. Whilst we were waiting for Lawrence's taxi I checked in with Team Cycles, Rachel our marketing manager and she's come up with a great idea, a good idea. I have said in previous videos that cycling saved me and mental health is a massive thing. Team Cycles know how hard it is for us to put these trips together, riding hundreds of kilometers a day, and then spending hours each night editing, putting videos together. So just to give us a little bit more motivation, they've said this, for every calorie I burn, Team Cycles will convert it into rupees, which will then convert into pounds, and they will donate that amount of money to mine charity at the end of our trip. So for example, most days I burn 3,000 calories, which is 3,000 rupees, which is around about 25 to 30 pounds. So that means Team Cycles will donate 30 pounds a day, and it could be more if I ride up 7% gradients talking to the camera like I am doing now. So today I'm currently on 32K and I've burnt 590 calories. If you turn that into rupees, 590 rupees is around about four pounds. So today, Team Cycles owe four pounds to my charity. Thank you Team Cycles for your ongoing support. It is appreciated.
think we're in the middle of nowhere, wouldn't you? But we're not, because we found once again cold water, cold coke, and tikka masala bingo crisps. Where are we? We are at the edge of a forest. I think that's the entrance to the forest, and I hope we can cycle through that. So is this where we might have to get the jeep? Probably. I think the guy said we can cycle to the Kerala part, which is this side. But the moment we touch Karnataka, we might have to load up on one of these kind of things. One of them! Whoa! One of them? <laughs> yeah! Francis, we have been without our fourth man now for a couple of hours, hoping that he's made it to the Airbnb safely. Mm. How are you feeling? I've assumed the role of the illest person again. <laughs> I, I deteriorate slowly through the ride. So now we've got, what, like 20k left or something. Really starting to struggle. But not as bad as Lawrence, so I, I can't complain. <laughs> Cow. Cow. Benny, that was the checkpoint. Yeah. Are we sure that's the last one? There's one more ahead. Oh, no, really? <laughs> yeah. So we just... So we snuck past two? We've, yeah, we basically crossed the Kerala border. Snuck. We're, we're officially in Karnataka now. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw us. We were little. We're little. Little, <laughs> little, <laughs> little like this. I hit behind <laughs> So the, the truth is, they don't really care about us dying. Oh, wow. And they basically passed out the baton to... Uh, Karnataka, 16k from our Airbnb, we know that there's not going to be any places in the area to buy water. Knowing Lawrence isn't very well and he's going to need some fresh clean water, I've done the good deed. I've got five litres on my bike. It's going to be a hard... It's going to be a heavy couple of k's. Feeling, mate? Feeling better? Uh, to be fair, I feel like a new man compared to earlier. I'm still pretty, like, upset, but like, I mean, I'm here. We've made it to our accommodation, nearly 90k, a thousand meters of climbing on some of the most beautiful roads we've been on in India. This morning I woke up and I felt sick. I was missing my home, and the last thing I wanted to do was ride my bike. But it actually turns out today has been probably one of my best days on the bike. So it shows sometimes it's just mind over matter. Lawrence is feeling a little bit better and tomorrow we might have a rest day. A fantastic day on the bike with the boys, making our way even closer to our end goal of Goa. As always, I'm going to leave this video here. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see everyone on the next one.